What's up travelers? In this video, we're heading over to local Thai restaurant here in Chiang Mai, Thailand to experience some Northern Thai pork curry. It sounds like it's gonna be a dream. Well, that sucks. The place we were headed to is closed. What the heck, man? What the heck? Well, I guess we gotta find somewhere else to eat. Well, since that place is closed, we're gonna head over to the very first place that I ever ate in Thailand. Kind of a nostalgia thing. Maybe seen on uh, Instagram or Facebook for sale. Uh, they suck. <laughs> uh, this little receiver thing and it plugs into the phone and when you first get it, it works. But then as you use it, it just stops connecting all together. And yeah, that sucks. So, uh, unfortunately, 
for the rest of the videos on this trip. I don't think we're going to be able to use these. I will continue to try, but I cannot get any connection right now, so I will see what happens. ผมสมมติเป็นไปก็คือทําเฉพาะส่วนที่ทําอยู่ในสเตจแล้วก็ตัวไปอยู่ที่ไหนสมมติว่าเป็นไปได้ที่ตรงนั้นค่ะเดี
So we are sitting at Larbhan Wan and we just ordered Hang Le Curry, which is a northeastern Thai style pork curry. From what I heard, it is one of the best soups up here in Thailand. This is the best place to get it in all of northern Thailand from my understanding as well. I will definitely leave a link or actually I don't think they have a website but I will leave their address in the description down below. We also got an order of sticky rice. You gotta get one of these. <laughs> it's super hot. It's like 102 degrees. So here it is. Look at that. Does that just look absolutely amazing? Those chunks of, <laughs> those chunks of pork. <laughs> I said chork. It's not quite chicken. It's not quite pork. Made by science. Enjoyed by everyone. Uh, <laughs> I got that from Bases Loaded 2, the Nintendo game from way back in the day. <laughs> we definitely got to pay respect to the chef here and try this uh, and try this broth out. So let's get it on. Mm. Yeah, so the base of that broth, it's, it's a tomato base, and uh, there is a hint of heat in the background, of course. It's not, it's not overpowering, it's just enough to let you know that it's there. And uh, mm. yeah, there's some ginger, probably some galango. Mm. Probably one or the other. I'm not entirely sure what what is there, but and then of course you got your your curry powders and your onions and stuff like that. And it is just absolutely phenomenal. So let's try a piece of this pork before we start adding the rice to it. Mm. Oh man. That pork is so tender. You can tell that it has just been getting stewed for hours. I mean, that is just amazing. I bet they didn't have to hardly do any work to pull that off of the bone. Yeah. We've got our sticky rice here. Grab a piece with their hand. Kind of like that. And quite the combination there this meal here without the rice it's 65,000 baht so it's just under two dollars with the rice it's 75 just over two dollars you definitely can't go wrong oh yeah this is so good mm. I'm so glad I didn't give up on this place when this place was closed the other day and I did, and I came back because this is going to end up being one of the highlights of this entire trip that I've been on. Mm. More of this rice here. Just, just got to... Oh, yeah. Mmm. Man, that broth is so delicious. This is better than the cow soy that I had in Bangkok. And that was Michelin rated. This place, it's just a little, a little hidden Thai restaurant. In fact, they don't have any English signage or anything other than the, than the panda thing out there. It's just down an alley, basically. You got to come here because the things that are hidden from tourists are the things that you really want to go eat. Seriously, that was one of the best meals I've had in a long, long time. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs>